Hi there, my name is Julie. Welcome to Preschool Storytime. Let's begin with a song called Hello Friend. We'll be using sign language with this. So for the word hello, put your hand up to your forehead and do a salute. Hello. For friend, hold up one pointer finger, hold up the other pointer finger and have them hug like friends might hug. Ready? Hello friend, hello friend. Hello, friend. It's time to say hello. Let's try that one more time. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. It's time to say hello. Good job. So today we'll be talking about owls. Do you know what letter the word owl begins with? That's right, the letter O. I have an O for you right here. And you can go ahead and trace the O on the screen or you can just trace it in the air with your finger. And we're just gonna let the letter O hang out over there for a while and we'll do an activity with it at the end of the story time. So let's make some owl sounds. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Flap the wings. And can you make some owl eyes? And I think we're ready for our owl rhyme. There's a wide-eyed owl with a pointed nose, two pointed ears, and claws for toes. He sits high in the tree and he looks down at me. He looks at you, he flaps his wings, and he says, hoo, hoo. Let's try that again. So owl eyes. There's a wide-eyed owl with a pointy nose, two pointy ears, and claws for toes. He sits high in the tree and he looks down on me. He looks at you, and he flaps his wings, and he says, hoo, hoo. Today I'll be reading Little Owl's Night by Devia Srinivasan, published by Viking, an imprint of Penguin Group. Look, Squirrel is sleeping. What is Raccoon doing? Do you see the snail? How about the moonflower? Little Owl was having a wonderful night. He watched the funny possum family waddle along in a neat row. Hedgehog sniffed around the mushroom patch. Skunk was eating berries because he could find no snails. Can you find the snails? By the river, beavers gnawed at trees. Turtle hid in her shell as fireflies danced all around. Little Owl visited his friend, the raccoon. As they sat in the clover, fog rolled in and hovered just overhead. Moths fluttered toward the moon. Silver dust fell from their wings. Little Owl wanted to follow, but it was time to head home. On the way, Little Owl flew by Grumbly Cave. Bear was inside, snoring up a storm. Wake up, Bear. Don't sleep all night, Little Owl sang. I want to show you the moon. Do you see Badger carrying a fish? Where do you think he found it?
but the bear kept snoring as usual. Little Owl flew home to his tree, gazing at the sky. He wondered if the bear had ever seen stars. Little Owl sat on his branch. How he loved the night forest. Frog croaked softly. Cricket chirped smartly. Little Owl heard rustling at the foot of his tree. Fox had come to say hello. Do you see the little rabbit sleeping in her den? It was late now. The bats were gliding home. Mama, little owl whispered, tell me again how night ends. The moon and stars fade to ghosts, Mama said. Spider webs turn to silver threads. Dewdrops sparkle on leaves and grass like tiny stars come down. Moonflowers close and morning glories open. The sky brightens from black to blue, blue to red, red to gold. The rooster crows, the crows caw, and the day begins, said Mama. But Little Owl did not hear. He was fast asleep. Look who's sleeping now. What is Squirrel doing? The end. Let's sing the song, Hoot Hoot Went the Little Brown Owl. We're gonna do a few motions with it. So we're gonna do hoot hoot with your hands, and we're going to clap, and then we're also going to do la di la di la. So la di la di la, and kind of wave your arms around. All right, we're gonna start with the hoots. You ready? Hoot hoot went the little brown owl one day. Hoot hoot went the little brown owl. Hoot hoot went the little brown owl one day. And they all went hoot hoot hoot. But we all know owls go la di da di da. La di da di da. La di da di da. We all know owls go. La di da di da. They don't go hoot hoot hoot. Good job, little owls. Hoot 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 hoot. All right, let's end today with goodbye, friend. We'll use sign language just like we did with hello, friend, except we'll say goodbye. So goodbye, you're going to wave. Goodbye. And remember, friend, point your finger. Point your finger, hug. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye, friend. It's time to say goodbye. Thanks for coming. And if you want to do a little activity with the letter O, you can stick around. So the letter O, we're going to find things in your house that begin with the letter O. So I already did it in my house and I'll show you what I found. So I have my owl up there. I had to draw it, but I have an owl. I also found an orange. So not only do I have the color orange, but it's a mandarin orange. So that's two O's. So the color orange and the actual fruit, orange. I also found orange juice. Another thing I found is olives. So they're in a can. They're not fresh olives. They're just canned and they're sliced, but olives. And then I thought, hmm, I also have olive oil. And that's two O's, olive and oil. So what else can you think of? 
I couldn't find actual onions. Um, you might find some onions in your pantry or you might have some frozen onions. Um, you can think about ocean. Um, if you live on the coast, you might have an ocean or you might find a picture of an ocean in a book. Um, octopus, I have an octopus in a book. And there's that octopus in a book. So my challenge for you is to find as many items that begin with the letter O in your house, okay? See you next week.